And welcome to your market update charts of the day for today, the 26th of April 2023. Uh, Mike Smith to lead you around what's happening in markets today. Uh, weak session on Wall Street overnight with all the major indices closing near lows as banks' stability fears re-emerged uh, after one of the regional banks reported significant drop in loans. However, we did have some very positive results out of Google and Microsoft after the bell. US earnings do continue today, two more big days ahead, uh, and then obviously we continue next week and the week after. And we've also got some key data at the end of the week that markets will have to digest. US futures are positive on the back of those positive earnings. Uh, Asian markets are mixed. The ASX is trading near neutral, which is off the lows of the session. European futures are pointing to a lower open later on this afternoon. The VIX posted its biggest one-day gain in a month, uh, bouncing off 15-month lows on the back of those bank fears. And the US dollar index has bounced off support, slightly lower in Asia today though, with gold the beneficiary after pulling back the last few days has retest 2000 in Asian trading this morning. Copper also has been on a downward trajectory over the last few days, uh, but it did again show positive moves this morning in Asia. It's moved back up and bounced off support and oil has moved lower. Bitcoin's bounced back towards 28,000. And the major data out today so far has been the Australian CPI, which dropped, but not as much as expected. AUD is still weak despite that uh, miss of expectations. Later on, we've got German consumer confidence, US durable goods and EIA data, out, which should impact on oil price. Over the next couple of days, we've got GDP and PCE data coming out of the US. A couple of charts of interest. We're going to start by looking at zero, who are retesting a resistance here at just over $93. Uh, you can see there we had a close here a couple of weeks ago and we're retesting that now. Put this into context on a weekly chart, you can see the importance of this level. If we breach this, we could move back up to 100, which would obviously be in excess of a 7% gain. We're seeing some Australian dollar weakness and we're looking at the 30 minute chart on the GB pound Aussie. You can see there we're moving up again after this retracement uh, looks as though we're about to test this r1 pivot level at 187.67 and there's a potential 50 pip move up if we breach this level so i want to keep an eye on through the course of the day trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now